The Stu Peters Watch the Water documentary has been delayed until Monday, and I believe I know exactly what conspiracy they are going to claim. Snake Venom. Now, before I get into exactly why I believe that, I want to make it very clear. This is nonsense. This is complete and utter junk. Not even junk science. There's no science here. It's just junk. Now, in the video delaying it, there was a couple hints, and the same hints that they've given in previous things, like they show a snake, watch the water in the title. But specifically, they say they delayed this because of spiritual warfare. An editor woke up and felt like they were being suffocated. Editors throwing up while working. They said that people have died to hide this and that they have over 4,000 documents. And you have to remember, the key person that they're going with, this doctor, is not a medical doctor. He's a doctor of chiropractic. Now, how did I find out what they were going to claim before they claimed it? Well, you see, Dr. Brian Artis has said the exact same things and has slowly evolved over time, and a lot of it's online. In fact, he did a grand jury. Yes, the people's grand jury, that whole thing, that whole grift, it's not even unique. He did one of those already and said quite a few things. But what I want to talk about is what has he said in videos that are circulating in clips like this. Now, see, they don't link to it because, you know, it, they got to stop the it being taken down. Don't worry, I found it, and I found the follow-up clips. So, what exactly is claimed in that video and other videos by Dr. Brian Artis? Because I watched quite a few. A big one is he claims that COVID is not a virus. He says it's a poison. What about showers? Well, he says that it only goes through your mouth, can't go through your skin. Now, of course, other conspiracy podcasts that have had him on or friends with him, they flat out now claim that viruses don't exist. I don't know if they'll go that far in this nonsense, but just throwing it out there in case they do. Now, they say that this poison is targeting Native Americans, Hispanics, Black people, Jewish people, and the LGBTQ community. Yeah, they're trying to go somehow with that as a defensive mechanism. It's sad, really. And of course, well, what about all the x-rays that, you know, show the damage to the lungs? They say that is alveoli hemorrhaging in one of the videos. Well, why does he think it's in the water? Because the CDC has a wastewater surveillance system that they expand to track COVID cases. That's their big reasoning it's like it's supposed to be some big self-admission that that means that they're putting poison in the water and he says in another video that it is the most historic well-known bioweapon in history and they must have synthesized it to put it in the water now Stu peters kind of let it slip that uh covid comes from a snake I believe they're going to claim that it's snake venom, which is really funny, because correct me if I'm wrong, but it's venom. It has to be injected, so if you were drinking it, 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 wouldn't, it wouldn't do this unless you had like an open sore for it to get inside. So the nonsense is actually stupider than you might expect. And the thing is, I watched so much of this Dr. Brian Artis. And it really seems like that's what it is. He always doesn't want to come out and openly say what it is, but it's ancient. But then Stu Peter says that it's snakes. And if you go in the Bible and you search poison, most references are snakes. Now... What's the end game for this one? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if they'll, what they're going to try to sell at the end. I get the feeling they're going to have a sale, a sale of some sort. But uh, at least in one video, Dr. Brian Artis told people they need to use reverse osmosis filters in their water. So if you start seeing a bunch of conspiracy theorist water filters, that's why. <laughs> 